Today I wanted to talk about how I am preparing for student teaching. Um, just as a, like a quick disclaimer, I haven't started yet. When this video goes up, I won't even have a month under my belt of student teaching. Um, this is just how I am preparing and I kind of want to look back after I'm done and be like, oh girl, you did not need that or this was great, this helped. Um, so that's kind of the main purpose of this video. So I'm going to stop talking and try to um, explain. So the first thing that I did is I emailed my professor, no, emailed my cooperating teacher and I introduced myself, let her know how excited I was and kind of asked her like a little bit about her as a teacher. Next thing I did was prepare a, like meet the student teacher. I'm gonna have it here somewhere. Um, and I just kind of introduced myself to the parents and I told them a little bit about me, a little bit of what I'll be doing and I gave them my email. I gave them a way to contact me because if something's happening, I would like to be in the know. Of course, the teacher is the main teacher um, and she will be the one mainly contacting them, but I feel like parent teacher relationships are really important and even though I'm only their teacher for this short period of time I'm still their teacher and there might be things that they need to talk to me about um, so I thought it'd just be a great way to open up the communication line created a student teaching binder so my binder hasn't been printed yet like I said I haven't started um, I'll kind of put like a little bit of, like I don't want to say like sneak peek because it's not really like that. I don't want to give much information either. So I'll put what I can here to show you kind of the idea of what I did. But I just kind of put contact information, um, like tabs, you know. Um, one thing that I saw on the internet and I feel like you should really do is post or have like a place to put all of your everything is so all of your artwork given to, by your kids um like I have stuff they're stapled so I can't show you but like there's one that says for the best sub ever and there's one that says you're the best teacher ever like I think that's so important to have especially on the harder days um because even right now I'm not even a student teacher yet and I'm overwhelmed and that's mainly because I put so much pressure on myself I have a place for my like student list and a lot of questions so I have a lot of questions like I won't be doing grades I know that my um, field instructor has told me I won't be posting any grades won't be like I can grade things but I won't be putting it in the grade book uh, how am I going to take and submit attendance um, and then things like fire drills emergency drills um, the bathroom policy these are things that I won't be implementing they're already implemented and I need to learn how she does them so that I can do it the same way she does because again it's not my classroom I'm a guest and I think um I got some good advice that I'm going to follow is have a place where you have an emergency contact and also give that emergency contact to the secretary just have like the school information your mentor teacher and your supervisor from your university um, phone number and email address and then I also put HR your district's HR is very important to form a um, relationship with because they're going to probably want to hire you and so I think it's kind of important to have that as well have their contact information ask them questions like I said I haven't had my um I haven't created my binder yet but I have print out my score report um I printed out all of them so that if I'm ever talking to a principal or anybody who might I might think might hire me I can kind of like boast like yeah I passed all of my certification exams I just need to finish student teaching and I'll be a certified teacher next I got a really good planner so I think planning in general is something that brings me a lot of joy I think so um excuse me so I got a planner I don't want to show you like everything 
and it's really great because it has a to-do list for every day because I know like once I start teaching teaching it's going to be a lot and then I prepared my bag so I want to kind of show you what I brought in my bag First, it is a backpack, not like a regular bag, because I know it's going to be full of stuff, especially toting around a laptop. So it is a, just a backpack. And then I have like all of my pens and stuff here. So I don't know about your school, but my school, I like teachers can have like aspirin. Um, I know that in high school, we couldn't even have aspirin. And so it like really depends. Um, but I have a bag of personal care, so I have some Germex, aspirin, Tums, deodorant, um, scrunchies. I even have like an emergency light. I don't know that I'll ever need it, but just in case. Like lotion, and then like, um, some essential oils. <sighs> Things that you might need, like feminine care products just like for emergencies but here I have a, a another binder and this is just for like the first day so I'm not going to bring my big old binder that I showed you guys earlier on the first day I'm just going to bring a notebook which I'll get to in a little bit and then this so I have a teacher questionnaire and it's just like to get to know her a little bit more and it says um, when her birthday is animal um, just in case I want to get her a little something and then I got this off the internet I think it was teachers pay teachers but it's like questions to ask and so whenever I ask her questions about school procedures gradings schedule um, I can just put it there and here it's like for school i have like extracurricular activities that i'm in like clubs and stuff like that so these are all the things that are like i have to do and i thought that i would have it here because i'm spending most of my day at school and so if i see it here if i have it here i'll be able to see it more and then i have a calendar i'm gonna give her this calendar so i made her a calendar that i am going to write down hey i won't be here this day i have class this day um things like that and then every month i'm just going to hand it to her so that she's not confused on why i'm not there of course i'll remind her but just kind of i just kind of thought that it'd be easier for her to see a month at a glance like okay she's not going to be here this day but she'll be here you know these days i don't know i feel like that i probably won't need but <laughs> I did it anyway so that is kind of all I did to prepare um I have some questions for myself like how did it go are you okay do you still want to be a teacher um was it too much are you happy we'll see hopefully I'm just in love with teaching and can't wait I don't know um, so a little bit about Texas student teaching, um, you have to teach, student teach for 75 days, so you have to be in the classroom 75 days, 70 of those days the student have to be in the classroom, 5 of those days can be professional development days, um, I have class on Thursdays, so Thursdays, I think it's twice or once a month, are half days, and so those only count as half days, I oh, they actually are twice a month. That's what I'm doing to prepare myself for this crazy semester. I hope you found this helpful. I know that you were probably hoping that I was more seasoned. And so I'm introducing myself. I'm saying hello. I'm telling them that I'm going to be there every day and why I'm there. I'm going to teacher school. And then I have a little slide where it's just family pictures. And it, I have another slide where it's like, tell me all about you. So tell me your name, tell me your favorite color, tell me your favorite movie to get to know them, just like they're getting to know me. So that is how I'm preparing for student teaching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions because I probably have the same questions and maybe somebody can help us. Um, Again, I do plan on coming back and telling everyone, oh my gosh, this was so helpful or this was so unnecessary. You did not need to do that. 
so um look forward to that video at the end of the year should be like around may when i graduate um so yeah thank you for so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>